In this video, I'm on the hunt to find out how much UK graduates get as a starting salary. Let's go. Can I have your age, first name and what you study please? I am 23. I went to UCL to do biotech and pharmaceutical management as a master's and my name is Isla. Nice to meet you Isla. And what classification did you get? For master's actually distinction. Congratulations. <laughs> Any tips for people to get a distinction at master's level? Use ChatGPT. <laughs> Outrageous! <laughs> I'm keeping that in! That's world! No, I actually did not use ChatGPT, it's all here. So yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> why did you choose UCL? I think when I applied, it was number eight in the whole world. So I was like, oh, I look at my CV, you know? What did you do for undergrad? I did biomedical sciences at St. George's. And how did you do in that? Got two one. And now you've got a distinction? Yeah. Oh, nice, well done. Thanks. All right, what are your future plans? Right now, I'm working at a company in London, but I'd like to probably move outside of the UK. And the job you're doing now, is it in any way related? to your degree? I work in healthcare and corporate, okay. so it's a bit related. I'd like to do something more senior or like a management, because that's my master's. Did your company pay for you to do your master's or is it all self-funded? Self-funded. Self it's a part-time job with it, oh, wow. so yeah. How, okay, so how did you balance work and studies? Didn't sleep. <laughs> I love your answers so far, like they're funny, <laughs> didn't sleep, you chat GPT, alright. <laughs> Do you think your job will in any way help you in the future in terms of your salary and so on? Yes, I have a good salary for what I do. Are you willing to share your salary? I get 32 and a half right now, but I get commission on top of that. Okay, so you do sales? Headhunting for CEOs. Okay. I think it's quite quick progression for game promotion, so I could get more. Okay. Maybe, maybe it's quarter. Okay. <laughs> what do you think you could be on in two or three years? Boy five. Best thing about your time at UCL? The people and also the management are all really good, but like a really good community and also the fact you're on UCL. I love that. The main campus is amazing. And the worst part? I just didn't like the Stratford campus. You had a Stratford campus? Yeah, that was where yeah. I always was. It was Stratford. Yeah. Having to go there is... You don't yeah. want to be there, do you? You want to be the main one. Isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And any advice for people who might come to UCL or graduates or students in general about making their best time at university? Talk to everyone. If you're stuck, then please ask the person on your course to help because some people have too much pride and they don't. That's all. Great. Wish you all the best in the future. Take care. Thank you. I'm in March, I'm 24 and I studied medicine. What are your plans after university? I'm working as a doctor. I've got a job lined up as well. And if you don't mind sharing, what's your starting salary? Around 28,000. How many hours do you think you'd be working for 28k a year? Your short days would be 8.30 to 5. Long days around 8 to 9 p.m. For a normal working week, but then probably extra hours on top of that. And what made you pick medicine to study? I think I just enjoyed it. I just enjoyed the subjects at A-levels as, as a child. I just enjoyed the biology aspects. I wanted to do something linked with that. So then I just thought I'd give it a go. Are any members of your family doctors or work in the medical profession? Cousins, no one direct. So you're the first person in your family to become a doctor? Yeah, indirectly, but I've got cousins. So okay, but that's impressive, right? Because usually there's a family connection, usually immediate family. I guess as a, as a medical student, what was the hardest thing about your degree or studying? It's very broad, so you don't really know what things to study. There's guidance, but because you know the human body is so broad, you don't really know where to start and where to end. Yeah. You know, you could be studying something for years and you still not touch it. Understanding what was most important for you to know and there and more also just thinking like a doctor, you know, not just memorizing them, but knowing how to come to those conclusions yourself. And what was the best part about your degree? Yeah, it's just fun, it was an experience, because it's, it's not like other courses, so I think you, see, you get to know people for a very long time, so it's just very nice. And why did you pick UCL? It was the most closest. And I wanted, I had cousins here studying other subjects. Okay. So does that mean you didn't live on campus, you lived at home? At home, yeah. You lived at home? Yeah. Okay, so that probably saved you a lot of money then. Yeah. Do you feel, as somebody who didn't live on campus, or didn't live outside of home, that had a different, it affected your university experience, and if so, how? I think in first year, probably because you everybody starting new everybody that were moving out they knew each other from their flats or wherever they were living so kind of had issues there but then eventually you find out everybody else who's also commuting and just from your own group I think in first that you feel it but then it's very quickly you just forget it it doesn't really play a part what advice do you have for UCL students prospective UCL students or any students or graduates I think one thing that I found is that if you find it hard you just ask for help early and there's no point not asking for help and then ask for help right at the end it's just wasting your time and also I think just important to just not always go to the library just sometimes you waste your time and do whatever you want. Just enjoy your own time because there's very few courses where you'll be at university students for six years after A-levels. So you just have to make the most of it. Awesome, fantastic. Thank you. Oh, Appreciate that. I'm Sarah. I did a master's degree of health data science. Why did you choose that course and why UCL? Definitely UCL because this is one of the top ranked universities in the world. It was always my dream to be able to study at UCL and it came true. And what are your plans now that you've graduated? I started to work. What work are you doing? I'm an assistant manager of some sport branch. Does that relate to your course in any way? Actually, yeah, at some point yes it is working with lots of data doing reports analysis of data and if you don't mind sharing what's the 
starting salary for that role? I'm to share. I don't want to share. Okay, that's fine. What was the best part about your time at UCL or university? Our course director and my supervisor. They were amazing. What was amazing about them? The personality, the knowledge they have and the many things that they did for me in terms of any support in any situation that I was involved. I really appreciate all their support and all the help that they did for me. And what didn't you like about your experience at university? Literally nothing. I enjoyed all of them. What do your parents do? Did that have any impact on your course you choose as well? Actually, yes. My dad was a manager of a hospital. He was an ENT surgeon and he was a manager of a hospital back home. But back home is? It's Iran. It had a lot because I started working in health status science at that hospital and then now I'm here. Okay, so your father inspired you or influenced you in some way, shape or form. Okay, great. Would you recommend your child, if you had a child, to do this course that you did? Yes, of course. If he loves, like me, just to study this course, just to work with data and he is enthusiastic, yes, of course, why not? Okay. It's my dream. Fantastic, awesome. <laughs> How, if any way, has university changed you? Oh, in many ways. I think my personality totally changed after finishing my course, the way that I'm thinking, the way that I'm looking to anything. How so? In what particular Ways. The way that I look to anything that happened in the world, my confidence, how to do research. What advice or tips do you have for anyone who is a student or a graduate in terms of making the most of things? Just work hard, try your best and do whatever you can. Don't get disappointed anytime. Always there is something to go through. Just trust yourself, do your best and you're going to get there. Thank you so much. Mountain 42, I've done a Masters in Health Informatics. And what classification did you get? Masters? Passed with merit. Congratulations. What are your future plans? I've come as a doctor and I've just been appointed as the Chief Medical Information Officer of my trust. So been using that in the hospital that I work in. Are you willing to share how much you get paid as the Chief Medical Officer? It's the consultant salary and I'm on a half-time contract. So uh, that's, it's all right. It's in six figures. Fantastic. Yeah. Advice. How did you get to that position? Well, how do you think of people can get to that position in life. Study medicine. I graduated from Bristol University as a doctor and been through postgraduate training. I'm an anaesthetist by medical background and then come into this to try and do some slight different things about trying to improve how people access care and impact more people. It's a really important part of medicine and healthcare and the way that I've done it is by finding out that it exists and then doing the course and trying to impact that change or make that change. And what made you pick UCL? I was recommended by a colleague who works in a hospital not far from me in Devon who undertook the course maybe four or five years ago. What was the best part of your experience here at UCL studying in general? The uh, course was focused. The best part of my course was the dissertation element. I thoroughly enjoyed being able to do something that was practical, real, and hopefully do something that's going to affect the way that people interact with these clinical systems in the future, trying to get it published and share it. Fantastic. That's amazing because I did not enjoy dissertation, but the fact that you said it's a practical, I think it's a, it's a great thing. I think when it's, it's maybe just writing, it's not as interesting, is it? It was a, a real thing to try and build a test system and then run some stuff on it. So a bit of computer programming and experimental design that hopefully will do something and mean something. And what was the most challenging thing about the course or your time at UCL? Probably that. <laughs> so uh, it's frustrating, it's challenging, I hadn't that, I had that much experience with it. I had a very good supervisor who was able to help me tidy up my slightly messy code and make it functional. So I owe a lot to that man. So Alan Davis, who's actually at University of Manchester, he deserves a shout as well. And having gone through the experience, what advice would you have given to your younger self or anyone who's watching this? I think just keep going with it. It's frustrating at times, it's challenging and trying to balance it with work's hard, it's family, got my son and my dad over there. Trying to negotiate those bits and pieces are difficult, but ultimately I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to do something with it that's a value. What tips did you get for balancing all of that? What things work for you that you think maybe other people could find useful? It's just dogged and I was very lucky to have a very supportive wife who was able to give me the time and opportunity to do it and that's really all it was. Other things conspired. Covid actually might have helped me out because it meant I could study more remotely because of the fact that they actually offloaded some of the stuff that was more face to face. By able to doing that remote access, I live in Devon, it was quite helpful. How long was your course? It took me four years, but it's a five-year programme or the flexible programme. What got you to medicine in the first place? Were any of your parents medic? How did you end up becoming a medic? It's just something I was always interested in. I like the way that I wanted to learn how the body worked. I did a degree in physiology at Bristol beforehand, so that was more the sort of science of it, and then wanted to be able to do something practical with it. If I hadn't done medicine, it might have been engineering. I wanted to fix something. If it was people or something else, it might have been something different. How has your university experience changed you, if any way? I'm not sure this has necessarily changed me that much. It was remote course. I don't think I'm particularly Okay. different. And any final pieces of advice for anyone watching? Study is important. It's important that we try and learn stuff and become better and understand things and I think that's what's important. Don't let other people sort of diminish what is what is your interest. I think that's important. So this is a pretty niche area that I've got an interest in and it's pretty geeky. Uh, trying to talk to other people and getting some other, other people enthused about it is challenging but it doesn't matter. There's enough people that need to be doing it and so it's find your passion and do that thing and that's good. Fantastic. Amazing. Thank you so much. Beatrice, 26 and I did 
biotech and pharmaceutical management. And what classification did you get? First. First. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you so much. What made you choose UCL to study at? It is one of the most prestigious schools here in the UK. I really think the location as well is really good because the main campus is literally near every single buzz area in London. I think those were the two main things. What are your future plans? Probably working at the pharmaceutical sector or at a small biotech company. Have you got a job secured? Yes. And if you don't mind, what's your starting salary? I can't. You can't? Okay. I can't disclose it. Okay, that's absolutely fine. And what was the most challenging thing about your degree or studying at UCL? I guess the most challenging thing was for me personally moving from a lab-based degree because I did biomedical sciences in my bachelor's to a master's which was more business focused. But even though it was challenging, it was also a good challenge to say because I feel like I've learned so much. What was the best part of your experience? Meeting my friends and challenging myself. And how do you think the university experience has changed you? It made me more tough, more resilient. If you had a child, would you recommend your course to your child? Yeah, definitely. If my child wanted to make the same career move as I did, why not? And the job you've secured, what will you be doing in that job? So it has to do with market access. So it's about reimbursing pharmaceutical products through the NHS. What would be your day-to-day -day activities in the world? Just meeting with different stakeholders. What do your parents do? My mom's a lawyer, my dad's an entrepreneur. Did that in any way influence the course that you chose? Yeah, definitely my dad. Because he's an entrepreneur in the medical devices industries, he influenced me to choose these masters. What advice do you have for anyone thinking about studying at UCL or going to university in general or graduate? Just follow your dreams and if you're doubting yourself, just know that you know the best degree. Your degree matters a lot, but if you are in doubt, just follow your gut. Fantastic, thank you so much. Thank you. Muriel, 24, medicine. Laura, 25, medicine. Olivia, 26, medicine. Merit, 24, medicine. Where are you all from? Prime. London. Oxford, Belgium. Why did you choose medicine? It sounded like fun. <laughs> I like people, but I also like science. I felt I like doing things, and it's quite a practical job. I think it's got a lot of different aspects more interesting than any other job. Okay, and are any of your family med medics? Do you think that maybe had an influence or not at all? No? Zero. My grandma was a doctor. My two aunts were doctors. Really? Yeah. <laughs> My mum's a psychologist, so it's sort of in healthcare. So I think that probably did influence some. Okay. No, not at all. So a mix of some, yeah, some, no, not so much. Just trying to get an understanding of why someone picks medicine, because it's a very challenging course. I, I do think it's an amazing thing to do. You, you do a huge service to the world so shout out to all the medics in the world what's the best part of your experience everything that was more clinical rather than in lectures i preferred but also i had a great time with my extracurriculars what were your extracurriculars i was in a medical review which is like a sketch group for medics i'd kind of agree i think the people really made it the course itself is really interesting but it's the people who you surround with which make it and i thought there's so many opportunities to meet loads of different people because medicine's so long there's young people there's all the year groups so you yeah. can do loads of sports with them and yeah it's great and also like the patients as well you meet so many patients from different areas especially in London you meet so many different people that's really cool and what was the hardest part of your course how much you have to work all the time outside of regular hours it gets challenging sometimes I think the exam stress we were all gonna be fine but, but. when you revise for exams you're like this we might not be fine. Some people don't make it, so I can't imagine that everybody was fine. Some people from your course clearly didn't make it. The majority of us do. The people who were in those usually actually make it. Yeah. <laughs> so the, the no warriors don't yeah. make it. Yeah. And, uh, that's crazy. All right. That makes sense. I think it's like a mixture of everything. It's long and exams. I just think constantly having studying in the back of your mind is really challenging. Never being able to switch off completely. It's very difficult. Where in the world will you be working? What are your future plans? I'm in the UK, down south. I'm going to be in Kings Lynn for a year. It's in Norfolk. Norfolk, okay. <laughs> I'm going to be in London. London. Uh, I'm in Stevenage, just outside London. Okay, so you're staying in the UK, both of you, yeah? yeah. That's cool. If you don't mind sharing, what is the starting salary? I think it's 32,000 grand. I mean, summary? it's the same for all of us. Okay, yeah. 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 So UK. She gets yeah. a bump for being in London. Oh, yeah. A little bit. What's the London the bump? 2K. 2K. <laughs> That's going to pay my rent. Yeah. You're rich! Yeah. Uh, any advice you have, not just for medics, but for students and graduates in general, about making the most of university experience and life in general? Speak to people who have done your course. Just get involved with things outside of your course as well, because you know, you're there for at least three years. You you want to make some good memories as well as study hard. I just try stuff. If you don't like it, do something different. Okay. Yeah. And I think in first year as well, get involved quickly. Like, don't think I can put that off. Just do it because those memories can last the whole the whole time you're there. Fantastic! You're all amazing. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm Joey. I'm 26, and I studied a health economics masters. And what classification did you get? A two one. Congratulations! And what are your future plans? I currently work in the pharmaceutical industry. It was a prerequisite to get into the job that I wanted. It's gone quite well. I'm now doing the job that I wanted as a result of the masters, which is really good. Wow, fantastic! And if you don't mind saying what 
what's your starting salary? I originally started in consultancy. I was on about 25k. I then got sponsored to do this masters, which was really nice. It saved me a few quid. And now I made the move into pharma, and I started on 83 there. 83,000. Well done. 26 years old on 83,000. So I need to shut my mouth. Can I just fist bump you? That's that's. Man, you smashed it. You smashed it. Let's just delve into that. Your organisation paid for you to do your masters, so you didn't pay a dime for your masters. No. That's amazing. How do people achieve that? You know, I was quite fortunate. I think I kind of picked up the phone to the right people at the right time. But in health economics, it's one of these sciences that's growing at the moment, as essentially more and more countries require it for getting drugs into markets. What a lot of people do is they start in consultancy, do five to ten years there, then move into the pharmaceutical industry. I was quite fortunate that the consultancy that I started with, my undergrads in maths, and they were looking for mathematicians. So I was really fortunate there. Approached a consultancy and said, I'm really, really interested in the job. And then it conspired that they were looking to bring on undergraduates so that they can put them through a master's course. So I was really fortunate to do that. Otherwise, it would have been quite tough to afford. So how much is the degree? I think it's 15 grand. One year? Yeah, it's one year. I did it over two because I was working at the same time. That 15 was split over the two, so 75 per year. Yeah, fortunately, because I left my firm not too long after I finished the course, I had to pay them some of it back. But a lot of my peers obviously had to pay it outright. I take out a master's loan. So I was very fortunate in that one. Yeah, so in consultancy, it's a specific health economics consultancy. That's really what a lot of grads end up in okay. after doing either an undergrad or a master's. Okay. Yeah. Where did you do your undergrad in maths? I did it at Reading University. Yeah, what classification did you get in that? I got a 2-1 there two as well. Okay. So what's your day-to-day -day work like? So a lot of what I do is kind of economic modelling, a lot of Excel stuff. But I get the opportunity to work, the company that I work for, make really exciting cell and gene therapies. So I get to work on drugs that really, really change people's lives, cure them of things like sickle cell disease and beta thalassemia. So it's really, really enjoyable that even though I'm just like a little cog doing a bit of maths and doing a bit of modelling in Excel, the end result is that people in different countries end up getting access to these medicines that really change their lives. But you're doing great work, amazing work that you're doing. Keep it up. Because we need as many breakthroughs as we can get. So that's a really great thing. So is that regression analysis and things like that? or Not too dissimilar. So it's a lot of economic modelling. Okay. So it's, it's simulating patients with, with and without the drug, essentially. Okay. Comparing what they be against all the drugs out there okay. and against patients who get the drug that my company make. And then you make a cost effectiveness analysis. And then that's part of the negotiation tool that NHS England would use to negotiate the price with the pharmaceutical company. That's really interesting. We've got to keep in touch because I did economics. Oh, but I, did, I briefly went into economics. But then I left. Like, I love economics. So it's great to see someone do something related to economics and then actually applying it in a very good cause. Amazing. What was the hardest part about your time at UCL or study? Because I did it part time and I was working at the same time, it was quite tough to balance those two things. That was probably my biggest, but it's, not a lot of people did part time study for my course. But one of the things I think a lot of people struggled with in my course potentially is that it was really maths heavy, which made it really, really attractive. But a lot of people came from economics backgrounds and they found that bit really tough. I was from a maths background and I found all the economic stuff tough. I think I got the better rubber degree because I also had a little bit of industry experience as well. And how did you balance working and studying at the same time? And any tips that you have? My firm are really good. They were really empathetic to what I was doing, which was really lovely. But no, there was there was a really good support system abound. There was a lot of people who kept checking in on me, knowing I was part time. Like things like personal shoes were really good. I was quite fortunate that I never needed a lot of support, but it was absolutely there if I ever did. What made you choose UCL? It's my local uni. <laughs> I'm from South East London, so this is the local uni that does the course. But it's one of the best in the country, one of the best in the world for health economics, especially from a maths background. Yeah. Best part of your university experience? It was really interesting. So in my cohort, there was about 60 people. I think there were about five or six Brits. It was a really international cohort. That was really nice to get to know people from South America, people from East Asia, people from South Asia. And you get a really nice perspective. So a lot of different ages as well. A lot of people from different backgrounds. It was great to make those pals. I recommend keeping in touch because some of those people could be friends for life, end up going and traveling and seeing them in different places, get a better breadth and depth of life. Would you recommend your course to your younger self? I would. I always loved maths, but I wanted to do something that felt a bit more worthwhile than ended up in finance and this is a burgeoning science that a lot of especially western countries are starting to require in terms of the pharmaceutical industry it's there's a real need for it and obviously it's something that's allowed me to get to kind of an earning potential that means i can do things like move out even being in the southeast is like huge for me and all my peers it's massive talking about earning potential what's the five to ten year trajectory on your salary what could it potentially be well it's because it's the pharmaceutical industry that there's really big upside where i am now i'm still at the level where i'm technical implementation where i'm doing the technical work that ends up being as part of submissions to countries but the thing is once you're in the pharmaceutical industry you work your way up you work in management positions and it's one of the best industries in the world and especially in the UK the life sciences industry for sure. what are some of your managers earning if you'd say oh, I, I don't know but it's definitely six figures six absolutely figures. what do your parents do my mum works at a local council she works with SEN kids and my dad works in finance well in and out of finance as tends to happen in finance but neither of them went to university so all of this today really about them rather than me wow. it's difficult it's nice but I think my parents it's a really big deal. My dad's first generation immigrant from Spain. 
I think it's a really big deal that his kids have gone on to higher education. Are you the first in your family to graduate or you have all the siblings who graduated? Yes, yeah, so I've got an older brother who graduated and I've got a little sister who's about to graduate or undergraduate this year. I'm the first one with the masters though. Oh. So that's, that's the big one. Yeah. But my little sister's going to do a doctorate. So, yeah. oh, so she's going to top yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. So do you think your parents in any way had any influence on the success you've had in life, the course you chose? Yeah, I definitely success in life. Not necessarily the, the course I chose. Being from a maths background, it opens up a lot of options. But no, my parents have been I'm kind of unbelievably supportive my whole life and that's why days like today it's, it's all it's all nice for me to wear the cap and the gown and that but definitely wouldn't be here without them okay. wonderful wonderful parents shout out to your parents how has the university experience changed you if at all i think it's working with people you look around you go wow these people all these people around me are really really smart it really pushes you to do more i think especially when you see people flown in from different parts of the world looking to take their expertise back home or looking to stay here and build a career it makes you really really driven to think all these people have made huge sacrifices to get here so it's almost you owe it to yourself as much as them to do something well with it and that's inspiring any final or last advice you have to anyone? UCL is a really, really good uni. I really, really enjoyed it. It's one of the best research in the world. If you're doing maths and don't want to go into finance, go into health economics. It's really interesting. Awesome. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you so much. You smashed it. All the best. I'm Yitza. I'm 25 and I do medicine. Kyra, 25. I did medicine. What are your future plans? So we're both planning to move to Singapore to work. Okay. Yeah. No, we're both Malaysian. You're both Malaysian. And if you don't mind sharing, what's the starting salary there as doctors? It's about 5.5 to, about 5. 5 to yeah. 6. Yeah. Sing yeah. Sing dollars? Yeah. Sing dollars. Sing yeah. dollars. Yeah. 5 to 6 thousand Singaporean dollars per month. That's how much you get paid. What was the hardest thing or most challenging aspect of your course? How long it is. Honestly, yeah. Six years. It's not easy seeing your friends start work and like, earning your own salary yeah. and everything yeah. when you're still studying. Okay. So you both got job offers in Singapore. Yeah. Was that intentional? Uh, no, I think we both separately both decided to go to Singapore anyways. So what was the best part about your university experience? I have the friends, I think. Like, yeah. We had a very good group sure. of friends. Friends for life, I think. I think. How long the course is you're also, with, you're also yeah. together for a longer period okay. of time. What made you decide on studying medicine? Honestly, I'm not sure. I think I just, I just wasn't sure on anything else. So I just went for it. It's not something like I'm super, super passionate about, okay. but I think now I'm happy I did it. Yeah, same. Is there anyone in your family that are doctors or medic? Medic? No. My cousins, but no one directly. So it's very unusual to just decide you want to be a medic when there's no one in your family that's a medic. I've got people in my family who are medic, and I said hell to the no. So it's, it's like I, I'm really surprised by that. But you're the second group of people who said that, so that's interesting. What do your parents do? My dad's a partner at UI. My dad deals with beverages. Very different to yeah. yeah. What advice would you have for anyone who may want to study at UCL or graduates to make the best of their time? time or just in general? Just try, I just think. Try. Yeah, just go for it. I guess, yeah, try your best. Try and have fun between big memories. Yeah. Awesome. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm 24. My name is Hannah and I studied reproductive science and women's health. My name is Buki. I'm 25 and I study reproductive science and women's health. Okay, what are your future plans? I want to do genetic counseling. What yeah. is that? Counsel people on genetic. Like they come in with a familial disease and you sit down with them and explain it to them. Okay, that's very specific. It is, yeah. yeah it is. Like, <laughs> like, you can do counseling on a very specific Absolutely, field. yeah. Wow. Very cool. But it's a relatively broad field because you can have people who have predatory cancer, right. predatory disease, cancer, wow, okay. yeah, cardio health, all okay. kinds of stuff. Awesome. Mostly sending people to IVF so that okay. they can have kids, like test tube babies. I'm thinking about doing reproductive health policy. I think that's my area. Yeah. Well, you have a job secured though? No. We got, I, we got jobs! <laughs> Is result of your degree? I work in policy at the moment. Okay. So not reproductive health policy, but policy. I don't even know what it is in, in pounds because I work in, in Ireland. I'm not on a starting salary. What is it in Ireland? 40k. 40K? <laughs> yeah. uh, it's US dollars, but it's 60. 60, what are you doing? Genetic counselor assistant. Okay, so you're already in the field that you want to work in. I am. Oh, that's awesome. Am. Why did you choose UCL? I wanted to meet people from everywhere. Okay. In the United States, you don't meet people from everywhere. So <laughs> I wanted to do that. Yeah. Where, where are you from in the States? <laughs> Georgia. Georgia, baby. Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, from the state capital. It's, wait, it's the state capital. It is. It's the state capital. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Good job. Okay. okay. Yeah. No, so, I'm a quiz master. Like, I'm, I'm on a quiz show. I'm on a quiz show, so I should know my capitals. That's awesome. Yeah. What was the question? What was the question? Is that you need to listen to me? You're really fun. Yeah. What was the question? Why did you come to UCL? Why you UCL? Yeah, UCL is just an incredible institution. Really international, really top ranking, and honestly, the course structure was really nice. That was the thing for me. What was the hardest thing about your university experience? So many essays. Bro. So many essays. Did you like them? Uh -huh. Yeah, I love the essay. My hardest part, I think, was when all my friends left, you know? She left me and it's outside. Yeah. yeah. Well, you're on the same course? I mean, we're on the same course. We've gone for a year now. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. They do the graduation late. Okay. Yeah. What was the best part about university experience? Spreading my southern girl country vibes around. I'm loving it. Yeah. I'm loving it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I took some people line dancing. It was fun. I would say my best part is probably meeting my course mates. I really know my friends. Well, so sorry. that's my answer. Like, how that's my best teacher on the whole thing. She brought me through, I think. We were yeah. so close. What do your parents do? Or whoever made It's just my mom. She works in consulting. Okay. Yeah. 
And did that in any way influence the course you did? Yes. Did I don't, yeah, I think so. She always pushed me to do better. She was a single mom and she worked really hard and she said, I want better for you. And so I got better. Yeah. Oh. I'm so thankful for her. Shout out to Mumsy. Shout out. I crossed the stage and I said, I love you, mom. You and I mean it. I love her That's so much. Amazing. My parents are retired. Thank God. Hallelujah. So my dad was an accountant and my mom worked in admin and managerial stuff as well. In any way influence the course you did? Or? Honestly, no. Not at all. Like, would you recommend this course to your child? If she's a woman, yeah. Okay. Yeah. If she's a man, I would even say come. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, why can't a guy do it? I feel like to do women's health. You need to have a vagina. I mean, I mean, okay, like not really. Anybody can do it, but I think to really understand some of the things that we go through in our experiences, being biologically female helps. Okay. It does help. Okay. Are you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I would. 100%. Okay. 100%. Yeah, I mean, you learn more than just women's health. You learn about the impact it has on other things in society as well. And also men's health too, okay. which I think some of y'all need to come and learn. Oh God, right. I'm always open to learn it, so if there's anything you want to teach me, let me know. How has university changed you? It's really taught me about how to interact with people. Okay. It's taught me about my relationships with people and how I interact with them, how I work with them. But it's also taught me a lot about life, especially women's health. There's just so much that people need to know that they don't know about their own personal health. Based on that, what's the number one thing that comes to mind that people should know about women's health? Men's health have, has an impact on pregnancies and children so I'd say even sperm sperm aging so uh, the older you get as a man the more you are now the placenta is half of the male's DNA so if you have terrible genetics or terrible health that affects the baby and the mother yeah okay. and yeah. the mother key there as key well. there and what could men do to make sure they have better health or reproductive you know stop smoking also like really important obesity is a big factor keep fit keep healthy keep your cholesterol low how has university changed you I had never met anybody that wasn't from Georgia United States to be honest so so it's been incredible meeting people from all over the world, learning different perspectives and experiences and really hearing people's what they've been through. It's been awesome. What advice would you give to anyone thinking about coming to UCL or studying or graduates for the future? Oh man, don't take out as many loans as I do. <laughs> I was going to say something about Get your money up first. Get your money up. London is expensive. Save, save, but definitely look out for scholarships as well. There are a lot of scholarships. There's a lot, yeah. Did any of you get any scholarships? No. no. I did actually, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, got a, I got the Institute for Women's Heart Fame scholarships. Shout out to me. Yeah. Yeah. How much fee did that cover? I, the majority of it actually, yeah, from my master's program. I'm still in debt though. That's <laughs> crazy. I don't know. They're just the cost of living. Okay. Cost of living really like. Okay. Yeah. But you know what? God will provide. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Alright, thank you ladies. You've been amazing. Thank you so much. It's starting to rain. Yeah, I know it's annoying, isn't it? Only a couple more. You're doing amazing, honestly. No no no. People will find this really, really insightful. So let me just get the rest of the questions. You're doing really well. Thanks. Alright. Last last question.